This video contains a story of an adult nature, so please be aware if you have children around little children, uh, you know, this gonna get sexy in this story. Arr. I haven't done a story time before, ever, but I have a lot of stories and Katie who's here, shout hello. 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 Um, she was like, you should definitely tell that story and I almost told it last month because it kind of ties in with Valentine's Day, but then I chickened out, oh. I have to hold a little clip while I while I talk because I don't know what to do with my hands. It's my hands, I never know what to do with my hands. Name that film. I'll start with Don't Judge Me, Please. <laughs> uh, this story began about a year and a half ago when Darcy started in reception at her school and I really wanted to be friends with the mums there and they already knew each other because their children had gone to the same preschool together or some of them had and I didn't know them so Basically, there was like a little group or a clique, like a nice one, not a nasty one, it's like a group of women, and I wanted to be in it, and I was too nervous to just go over and be like, hi, let's be friends, because that's not how it works in the adult world, so I was really nervous about it. Anyway, about um, four or five months went on, and it got to January, it was really freezing cold, it had been snowing, and one of the mums, as I walked in, she was like, oh, it's cold today, isn't it? And I was like, yes. We are making conversation, we are in. This is this is the chink in your armor, I am in. I am your friend. And I was like, yeah, it's very cold, isn't it? And she was like, yeah, it is. I was like, yes, this is top conversation. And then um, she said, some of the mums, some of us are actually going out for dinner next month if you want to come with us. At this point, it was like the angel shone down and I was like, yes, yes, I do want to come on your mum dinner. Yes, I bloody do, I'm so excited. And she said it was on February the 13th, we were gonna go out for a meal for an Indian and some of the others were going and I was really looking forward to it. I was like, yes then, this is it. This is my acceptance, I've found my tribe. So the meal comes around, the time for the meal comes and I wore denim skinny jeans with heels, with gold heels and this black like sheer floaty top and I felt like that was good and had a lot of like dark eye makeup on, kind of like now but more. I went out for this meal and I won't name anybody's names in any of this story, you'll see why at the end. So there was mum number one, mum number two and then mum number three whose name I couldn't remember and I felt like I should know it because for a month in between being asked for dinner and till then we'd all sort of like chit chatted in the in the school gates and like I'd kind of made a bit sort of a bit of friends with them. This is like one mum, I couldn't remember her name <laughs> and um, the only name I will give you is her husband is Julian and I thought this mum was so posh and I thought she was like the head of the mum group. Now that I know her I don't think these things. So I called her Julian's wife because I felt like she was so Julian funny. I don't know why, I really hope she never watches this. If you're watching this, Julian's wife. Uh, sorry. So she was the one that I was like most intimidated and nervous by, um, even though now I know she's so lovely, blah, blah, blah. So put that to one side, I was really intimidated by Julian's wife and I really wanted to be her friend and everyone's friend. Went out for this meal and it was great. I got on with everybody, including Julian's wife and I was so excited, blah, blah, blah. And I had um, just recently started seeing a guy. So now we're at like last year, 2016. I'd started seeing this guy and that night he was having a party for his birthday. He was having a pirate themed party and he had sent me messages of him just as a pirate and I was showing my friends, I was like, oh, look at this, look at this is who I'm seeing, blah, blah, blah. And then he said to go round afterwards to like join in with the party because like dinner finished at like 10 and the pirate party was still going. So I was like, okay. So I got a cab from the restaurant. I'd got a cab to the restaurant so I could have a drink. I got a cab from the restaurant to his house, joined in with the pirate party, met loads of his friends. They were all really nice. We all had a nice time. The party was firm. We sort of like danced in the kitchen and really nice night, yada yada. Went to bed. Bearing in mind, we were at the beginning of a relationship, so obviously we were in that stage where you don't do much else except have sex with each other. I'll just, I'll just call a spade a spade, cause I'm, I'm not wrong, am I? <laughs> don't judge me. So it was Sunday morning, uh, or Saturday morning, I forget what, so, no, it was Sunday morning, it was definitely Sunday morning, and we were having some time with each other. Like, this is story time, but I don't want to be too graphic and vulgar. So we were having some time with each other, and it was all going very nicely, very, very good time. 
and he fin it finished the time finished <laughs> he finished his time and he backed away <laughs> out <laughs> and looked down and said the two words that no woman wants to hear he went oh no <laughs> and i was like what what is what what is it and he was like oh um I don't know where the condom is. Now I am like a stickler for contraception and I was like, Mrs, condom every time please. I'm not on the pill. I don't have the implant. I don't have the injection. I don't have any other like contraceptive barrier. So I'm like, Mrs condoms, it's always worked well for me. So I was like, what do you mean? What do you mean? Don't know where it is. And he was like, it's come, it must have come off somewhere. And I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. So I start searching around in the covers, in the duvet, like looking down the side of the bed. Like, I mean, it wasn't that acrobatic. I don't know why like condom will have like gotten off and gone down the side of a bed, but I was looking for it. And as I was stood there naked and not looking that great because I had like last night's makeup and a hair like a bush on my head. I, I was like, where, where is it? Where is it? And he just stopped still and he was like, I think it's in you. At this point, like sheer horror because I was like what what this has never happened to me before ever and he said something uh, e even worse than oh no uh oh uh he said I'll fish it out now <laughs> ladies <laughs> I, don't, I don't want anybody to ever have to fish anything out of me like if there's something in me I can get that out because it will have been put there on purpose. I don't ever want anything to go missing in me or have to have someone help me get something out of me. I just want to deal with all my own evacuations. I was like, oh, I don't know about that. And he was like, well, how, how else are you gonna get it out? And I, I made a solid effort myself, but there it, I, you know, it, it wasn't coming out. I couldn't find it, it was lost. So he had a, bit of a rubbish and he was like can't find it and I was like well it's not there's not rooms up there it's not a maze my vagina is like it's, it's a it's a one-way street anyway whatever eventually he found it I say eventually like it didn't take like four hours <laughs> just like within moments he had located the uh the, the the condom and he was like yeah that's not that's not worked we've got a pro that's come off a pre pre the end of the time and I was like great great so I instantly assumed that in that moment I was getting pregnant and panicked. I was like, I don't want to have a baby with this man. He didn't want to have a baby with me. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, I don't know what to do because this has never happened. And because I've always been so careful with contraception, I've never had to like face this problem before. Like I got to the age of 30 and hadn't faced like this problem. So there we are in his bedroom, hung over with yesterday's hair and makeup and, and no things with me because I just took a clutch bag to the dinner. And I now have um a situation on my hands uh, uh, well we both have a situation on my hands so I start panicking I start crying because I'm tired and like that uh, that really that really helped when I started crying and he was like pretty nice about it he's like look don't worry we'll get the morning after pill if you're in America I think you call it plan b so he said don't worry we're gonna get the morning after pill and I was like right okay well guess how many chemists are open on a Sunday morning not bloody many, that's for sure. Guess what is open though? Sainsbury's. Giant, massive Sainsbury's with their pharmacy slap bang in the center of it with absolutely no privacy at all. That's what's open. So we go to Sainsbury's. Before we went to Sainsbury's, by the way, he took me for a romantic meal. We had a McDonald's drive through and he was like, I know how to treat a girl. In fact, I think he made a joke about it or something at the drive through with the woman treating her, treating her for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day it was, by the way, this is Valentine's Day last year. <laughs> I'm so romantic. We went to Sainsbury's and I'm walking around in my last night's clothes. So like a black shit. <laughs> A black sheer top and my skinny jeans and my high heels and I've put my hair in an elastic band. <laughs> I didn't even have a bubble. It's just an elastic band and I've used water to sort of wipe under my eyes but there was nothing else that I could do to help myself. So I look not good 
and we're walking through, I also pick up some of the cut price flowers because my auntie, I wanted to give my auntie some flowers, I was like, half price roses, she'd love those. So I'm walking around with like a bunch of roses whilst I'm looking, well, not great. We go to the pharmacy um, and I'm asked all sorts of hideous questions uh, in front of like this guy I was seeing like about the regularity of my period and my flow and things like this. He very kindly paid for it. He got his nectar points as well, I seem to recall. He made the most of that, gotta get something out of it, eh? So he got his nectar points and I'm holding this box of Levanol, which is like for one tablet, you get, it's like Amazon, how they send like the tiny thing in a huge box. Like the box was like this, this is an exaggeration, it's like this, but it felt like this, it said Levanol on it and I felt like it just basically said, woman with sperm inside, is what it felt like it was saying. And we walked to the till, so you pay for that there, but then we had to go to the till to pay for these roses. And um, we get there, it's a Sunday morning, I look like utter shit. I'm holding a huge box of Levanol, and I'm at the till, and there's another till here, and I look up, and guess who it is? Yeah, it's Julian's wife, isn't it? Buying a lamb shank for a Sunday roast. It's Julian's wife. And she goes, oh, hello, is this the pirate? Because I'd shown her a picture and I was like, yes. <laughs> Still holding my box of Levanol. And to this day, we haven't spoken about it. Um, I don't think she watches my channel, so I think I'll be okay. But Julian's wife, if you're watching, let's never ever speak of this ever again. Um, it didn't work out with that guy, uh, but the Levanol worked, so. <laughs> <laughs> that's a plus. And that is the story of my morning after pill, super romantic Valentine's day. <laughs> I like to think I'd love to hear your thoughts on this, but maybe I wouldn't. Just, uh, don't be too, just, uh, yeah, whatever. Okay, great. <laughs> I'll see you next week for another amazing video. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>